we have another street food video coming your way. Today we are visiting Togoshi Ginza, which apparently is the longest shopping street in Tokyo. 1.3 kilometers, over 400 shops. So this should be exciting. We brought our appetite. We purposely skipped breakfast. So let's go eat Japanese street food. Yes. Oh my goodness. So of course we have the bros in Look the who's video. back again for some Japanese street food. Are you hungry, my friend? I, I'm really hungry and I hope we find some good food. I thought this was going to be more like a pedestrian street. Yes, yeah. same but here. But it's just kind of a... It's a decent amount of traffic, I have to say. It's a lot of traffic. I mean, there's no yeah. foot traffic, but there's a lot of real traffic. All right, let's go in search of Tokyo street food. Okay, so this is looking okay. good. It looks like get... some meat, wow. some breaded cutlets, pork, let's chicken, get, shrimp. Get. So I think this is going to be our first let's stop. Get. Let's get some meat inside yeah, our system. Yes. All right, boys, got the goods. Yeah, so this is our first street food item here in Tokyo, Japan. So I'm gonna unveil here. Check this out. It's a fish. Fish. Look at its tail. Breaded fried fish. Breaded fried fish. Got the shrimp over Ooh, here. A little shrimpy. What do you got in your hand, Rob? I've got a pork, which is kind of a classic one here. And then I've also got a potato one, which I just saw hiding in the corner. Yep. But I figured we're gonna let that one go away. Okay, so time for me to try mine. I'm gonna start with this massive shrimp over here. Let's dig right in. Mmm. Check out that meat. White and flaky, look at that. So our second order was the breaded fish. Yep. Oh, so good. So salty. And then really crispy on the outside. I love that. And then tender in the middle. Nice strong fish flavor. It's delicious. Off to a good start. Yeah. So our first snack is over. And how much was that, guys? Very good. Well, it's all different prices. It really depends on what you're getting. But I just had a peek at the prices, and it's between 130 to 370. Yeah. Depending on whether it's meat or vegetarian or seafood. So not bad for a little snack. And how about yours? My pork and uh, onion one was like 214, which is about two US dollars just under. Yeah. And the my favorite, which was the potato, was 130 yen. So that, you know what? Like a dollar. That's the consensus hit between the two of you right now. Yeah, you both said that. It, it was like potato salad deep fried. It and I missed out on that. guys I think we have found our next stop we were just wandering down the street and then we saw this picture right here it basically looks like a cookie yeah. stuffed with ice cream or milk and a whole bunch of fruits 320 yen we're craving something a little yeah, sweet it, after it, deep fried it's, grease it's food. warm today there's gonna be highs of 30 so this could be good I hope they have some ready to go let's go in this looks super cute they've got like cookies shaped like pets and people Good job. Two of these. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So now that I'm looking at this up close and not just in the picture, it is not cookies like I thought. It's actually a bread bun that's been cut in half and filled with some kind of cream. We've got a cherry, maybe maybe a grape, maybe some mandarin in there. Mmm. Wow, that's like halfway between whipped cream and ice cream. That's really tasty. It has some tangerine in there. Wow. Nice and citrusy. Lots of surprises mm. then. It's also a sweet bread. And they're 320. So this is quite good. Yeah, 320 yen. All right, it is now Sam's turn to begin. Yeah, so we each got our own. Yeah. And look, it's it's covered, I think, in, in flour on the top here. It's icing sugar. Oh, it's icing sugar. Yeah, it wouldn't be oh, cool wow. if it were flour. We're yeah. eating raw flour. Mmm. Wow. What do you think? Yeah, it's a lot different than what I was expecting. Yeah. Wow. You get that, that taste of the fruit a bit more than I thought. Mm-hmm. And then also the... It's really creamy. I know, and it's yeah. so refreshing, isn't it's it? It's very refreshing, yeah. It's not... um. It, it, it's, it's just perfect because it's so warm outside. I gotta have another bite of that. I'm gonna yeah. try to get, there's a cherry in there. I'm gonna try to get Ooh. that. Yeah, I would agree. This is a great summer snack. Mm. Just a very light cream, a bit of fruit. That's all we need. So what do you think, Rob? We all tried it. I'm just cool right here. 
literally I'm cooling off eating this ice creamy creamy whatever it is <laughs> it tastes processed it tastes delicious yeah I mean I wasn't sure what it was I thought it was ice cream but it's not no. it's just good it's just good stuff So we're we're competing over who's gonna pay. We're combining our combining our resources. One, two, How much does it come to in total, guys? Four, uh, Less than four hundred yen. Three twenty. Three hundred and twenty. Three hundred twenty yen. So like three U.S. dollars. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we're getting four, and we're gonna share them. Four little pieces. Yeah, it's gonna be great on top of the custard. It's just what my stomach <laughs> is crying for right now. This, we did this in the wrong order for sure. All right, guys. So here we go. This stop was for Oden. And basically, it's a wintry soup. It's like a light broth, and you get all these different ingredients that are just floating in the broth, and then you pick and choose what you want to have. So we ordered a little mix. We got a lot of tofu, actually. A lot of this is tofu in different shapes, different sizes. Tofu looks so good. Yeah. Giant size, bite size. Mm, it's so hot. Got it all. Mm. You know what? This is something similar to we ha what we had in Korea. It was called Odang there. Mm. This is Odin there here. You go. Very similar name. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a connection. I see thing. a slight connection. <laughs> no, but yeah, this is this is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely something you'd want to be eating on a cooler day. It's yes. like 30 degrees. It's summer out in Tokyo right yeah, now. Yeah, more of a winter, so. more of a winter savory food. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's 300. Oh. The price was 320. Uh -huh. What did you think, Robbie? You you had some too. I'm a huge Odin fan. Yeah. I mean, is I it? never knew I loved it until I tried it. Is it. I mean, it doesn't look like much. Yeah. But it packs a heck of a punch. It's comfort food. It's soul food. Soul food. Just like Audrey said, maybe you know, not yeah. the most desirable at 30 degrees at noon. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. What do you think, Rob? Coming on a Monday in the morning. It's like we want to avoid the crowds. Yeah. And we achieved that. Yeah. But I think a little bit more soul would have been nice. At the moment, it's kind of a ghost town. Half the places yeah, are closed. We're just walking around in the heat of the day yeah. eating like wintry favorites like Odin. This is this is not the quintessential uh, experience no. in Tokyo where you're rubbing shoulders with Yeah, people. but at the same time, I mean, it could be the complete opposite where it's so busy you can hardly think. Yeah. So at the moment, we've got the place to ourselves. You want to look in the positive. We're eating good food. It's a beautiful day. So it's cool. <laughs> We're a fussy crowd. We've changed cats with dogs and dogs with cats. But we are getting some donuts. <laughs> well, Audrey, you've got a couple things in your hands. Two donuts. So, more sweets. We stopped at Floresta, which is a donut shop. I ordered a really cute one. Mine is a seal. And Sam was just like, I want coconut. I want is that, coconut. Th so is that really a seal? Go back. Yes. Go back. Is that Look really at a it. seal? It's little flappy arms. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. And it's made with sesame. Yeah. That's the, the black seeds you can see all over. And yeah, this one is white chocolate and coconut, but no cute creature, no design. Oh, how sad. Womp womp. Here we go, biting into this cute donut. I'm biting into the bum. <laughs> you don't want to attack its face until mm -hmm. the end, right? You want to keep it as pretty as possible to the mm. very last moment. That's what it looks That's... like on the inside. Oh, wow. Mmm. And that's kind of like um, a bit of a salty glaze with the sesame. Oh, really? And that is not sweet like I was expecting. That's interesting. No. Very they interesting. crushed the sesame seed. It's like oh. crushed and roasted sesame seeds. Wow. So yeah, not super sweet, but... Oh, and before I forget, how, how much were the donuts? The cute ones are 200 yen for going for the, a plain the one. The non-cute one, 180. 180. I, remember the, I remember the 180 price. Your turn, my man. Well, Mr. Plain Old Sam with his plain old coconut donut. Let's try that. Yours smells really oh, good. it does. It's, got, it's coated with coconut. You really smell like coconut. Apparently it's white chocolate too, but. Yeah. Mmm. 
What do you think about that? Mmm. Oh yeah. That's really good. It's not as sweet as like um, Canadian or American donuts. Yeah. It's just kind of nice. It tastes a bit Not healthier. like Timmy's, good old it Tastes Tim a little bit healthier, but I really taste the coconut. I don't taste the, the white chocolate so much, to hmm. be honest. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, now that you've tried yours, do you want to take a bite out of my sesame donut would and see like what to. you think? Am I allowed to bite its head? Sure. Oh my gosh. I'm it's so, going to have to be eaten at some so point. so cruel. Mmm. Oh wow. Do you know what you mean about the saltiness? Yeah, it is salty. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. Look at that. There's actually, uh, there's actually a walnut there. Is there? Yeah. yeah. Look at this. You see that? Oh, an almond. Probably not a walnut. An almond. Yeah. There's another almond here. That's, oh, so that that's where ear. little arms. Little arms or ears. So now we are going to try melon pan. It looks like bread, shaped like a melon. Several flavors to choose from. Okay, time for a melon pan. Okay, my friends, so there is nothing melon about this in terms of its ingredients. It just kind of has the, the shape, shape of a melon. It looks like a melon. That is it. And I can tell it's kind of like sugary granules on the outside. It is yeah. hard to the poke. And to the poke. And like they also had the a whole bunch of flavors. There yeah, was cinnamon, cinnamon, caramel, chocolate, yeah, I ended, up, I ended up getting the caramel. And I've never had this before, so maybe I should have tried the plain, but I'm gonna try caramel anyways. Ooh, in he goes. Oh, that's good. 180. It tastes crispy on the outside, the only on the inside. Yeah. And how much did you guys pay for your melon pan? These are 180. Mm -hmm. So okay. you're talking like just over a dollar fifty US, a dollar sixty US. Not bad. For this, that's I a mean, great deal. Do you have a beer? Yeah, yeah, I'd like a beer. Okay, whiskey ginger ale. I think we're going whiskey ginger ale. Are we not? I think so. Finish strong, you know, go out with a bang. What's going on? Well, what's going on? Can, can anyone explain over here? Just whiskey in the middle of the afternoon. Just a midday okay, whiskey? Midday. What I want to know is what's the name of this place? Yeah, good question. And oh, how much were they, guys? I don't know. I think oh, they're four hundred each. Oh, four hundred each. That's yeah, correct. Like I remember three, that. Now. Yeah. Or so. And we have chicken to come. Chicken yeah. to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, what are you? Oh, you Yeah, look at my shoes. Wow. And Japan shoes. Japan. And Japan shoes. Ugly Canadian shoes. Yeah. Seta. Seta. Japan Seta. Seta. Oh, it's oh, like a snake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, what's arrived at the table, my friends? All right, we have fried chicken. We are having some interesting conversations in lots of different languages. <sighs> yeah, we've we, been looking at shoes. We've talking been looking about at talisman. shoes. Yeah, it's been interesting. It's been confusing, but the fried chicken is here. We got some chicken breast. Ooh, that is that is so hot. I know, it's, it's hot and greasy. We really have to let it cool down a little bit, okay. and then we'll dig right into that. Oh, Rob, show us how it's done, my friend. Ooh, that mm. looks lean. Good and greasy. Mm -hmm. The only way to do it. The only way to have it. You can tell that, like, it's like, it's like the chicken's been impregnated with the grease like, <laughs> at, at the cellular level. Wow. Rap boys, how's that? So that was one insane outing. It started off a little slow, and as the day went by, it picked up. And it got really interesting near the end. We yeah. may have been on, we may be on Japanese TV. We met a couple really colorful <laughs> characters. <laughs> we may be. <laughs> and we finished off with a bang. What did you think of it, Rob? I liked it. Like Sam said, it just got more and more interesting as the day progressed. Kind of started out slow. We might be on Japanese television. And that last top was filled <laughs> with interesting characters and good flavors. So yeah. all in all, just a fun time. Sure was. So that concludes our Japanese street food tour. And we will see you with more Japanese food and travel content soon. Ciao for now.